it's Cupcake Gemma here and I am here in Jamie's FoodTube kitchen and today I am going to show you a really delicious recipe for spicy pumpkin pancakes but with two toppings so you can have them for breakfast and pudding. So to start with, I have myself a big bowl here and a sieve and I'm just gonna put 175 grams of plain flour into my sieve. And to that I'm gonna add three tablespoons of soft light brown sugar. You can use regular white sugar, but I like the depth of flavor that brown sugar has. And then I've got three quarters of a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ground ginger, and half a teaspoon of nutmeg. So I'm gonna put all of that in. And the last spice I'm gonna put in there is a pinch of ground cloves. And then I have two teaspoons of baking powder. And lastly, a good pinch of salt. And I'm gonna shuffle that through my sieve. So I'm just gonna leave that to one side for a moment because I now need to mix my wet ingredients together. So in a separate bowl, I'm going to put 160 grams of pumpkin puree. I used canned pumpkin puree, so that just goes in. And to that, I'm gonna add 230 milliliters of whole milk. Next up, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of melted butter. And last but not least, I'm gonna add one large free range egg. So just using a whisk, I'm gonna whisk that all together until it's really well combined. And now I just need to add my wet ingredients to my dry ingredients. I'm gonna grab my bowl back and pour all that stuff in. And then again, using your whisk, just stir all that together. So that doesn't need much mixing at all. You just need to make sure that the lumps are all gone. So that's ready, but I am gonna let it sit for about half an hour before I use it, just so that the baking powder has a chance to activate and so these are gonna be super fluffy. So I'll just put that to one side. While my batter's resting over there, I had a little clear up and I'm gonna get on with making my two different toppings. So starting with the kind of breakfasty one, the sort of less naughty one, um, I've got a bowl here and into that I'm gonna put 150 milliliters of double cream. And to that I'm gonna add 75 milliliters of Greek yogurt. This is really nice and creamy and tangy, so it's important to use Greek yogurt here. And to that I'm gonna add two tablespoons of icing sugar, which I've sifted. You can add a little bit more if you want it to be sweeter, but I'm gonna start there for now. And all I need to do here is use a little whisk and whip it up to soft peaks. And that is literally it. So that is a really nice, tasty topping for your pancakes. So you can keep that in the fridge until you need it. So I'm gonna put that in the fridge now. The next topping I'm gonna to make is a super duper caramel sauce. And I kind of made this by accident once when I didn't have any cream and I had to use yogurt and milk. So, and it tasted really nice. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. I've got 200 grams of caster sugar. That's going into a saucepan. And it needs to be a fairly big saucepan because it does bubble up quite a lot. And to that I'm gonna add 75 grams of unsalted butter. And then I have 30 milliliters of Greek yogurt and 90 milliliters of whole milk. And then the last liquid I'm gonna put in there is golden syrup, and I'm gonna put just one tablespoon of that. And then lastly, I'm gonna add a pinch of salt and three quarters of a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. So now I've got everything in my pan, I'm gonna put my hob on, and I'm gonna put it onto a kind of medium heat for now. And I'm gonna bring that up to a heat so that it starts to bubble and I'm gonna stir it frequently and once it starts bubbling, I'm gonna turn it down and simmer it for 10 minutes. Right, I've had this on the hob and I've been stirring it for about 10 minutes and it's gone this really lovely light amber color and it's all nice and thick, so it is ready. But it is hotter than the sun right now, so you definitely don't wanna eat it just yet. So I'm gonna put it to one side while I make my pancakes. Right, now it's time to make my pancakes and I'm gonna be using a nice big flat bottomed frying pan like that. And I like to use a medium heat and I'm gonna put it on the biggest ring on my hob, that way I get a nice even heat underneath. And before I put any of my batter in here, I'm gonna get this pan nice and hot and I'm gonna just brush it with a little bit of vegetable oil. My pan is nice and hot, so I'm gonna grab back my batter 
And I'm going to just use a regular spoon to spoon this in and I'm gonna do about one or two of these per pancake. So it's time to flip these guys when bubbles start coming to the surface. And I've got a couple of bubbles now, so I'm going to flip them over. I'm gonna cook these on the other side for about two or three minutes until they're nice and cooked all the way through and they'll be really fluffy and I'll wanna eat them straight away. So I'm just gonna re-oil my pan a little bit and keep on going until I've used all my batter up. And that's all my pancakes cooked. So now it's time to decide whether I'm gonna be naughty or not so naughty, but I mean, let's face it, I think I'm probably just gonna be naughty. I'm gonna have the caramel on mine, but first I'm gonna put a blob of ice cream on for super duper naughtiness. And then some of that delicious caramel sauce. And then for the breakfast version, all you need to do is put a blob of that creamy, yogurty stuff on top. And if you want to be a little bit naughtier, then you could put maple syrup on like I'm about to. Well, I'm going to probably start with this desserty one because I need it. Uh, and I hope you've enjoyed this video and please give it a go and let me know how you get on in the comments box below. And if you want to send your pictures over by Twitter, then don't forget to hashtag loveyourkitchen.